evaluate integral 0 to infinity dx by x square plus a square the whole square and a greater than 0. So here the given integral having the limit 0 to infinity and the given integral function is p of x by q of x form. Therefore this is contour integral of type 2. So given integral 0 to infinity dx by x square plus a square the whole square where a is greater than 0 that is positive. So given integral is contour integral of type 2. So in this type consider consider an upper half circle upper half circle C such that C is minus r to plus r plus gamma that is from the diagram you consider this is y axis this is x axis x axis is a real axis y axis is the imaginary axis an upper half circle this is upper half circle okay minus r to plus r so what is c here c is minus r to plus r plus gamma the curved region you take it as gamma okay so c is minus r to plus r and gamma so this is c so from the diagram the integral can be written as integral over c f of z d z it represent entire half circle it is minus r to plus r minus r to plus r but the minus r to plus r lies only in the x-axis so that you have to write f of x dx plus gamma integral over gamma f of z dz okay so by by Jordan lemma Jordan lemma as r tends to infinity as r tends to infinity integral over gamma f of z dz equal to 0 this is by Jordan lemma so substituting here as r tends to infinity minus infinity to plus infinity this integral becomes 0 this this is only will give okay so now integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx is equal to as r tends to infinity this 0 only this integral over c f of z dz okay so now integral 0 to infinity f of x is given function from the given integral dx by x square plus a square the whole square is equal to integral over c f of z is correspondingly take x by z so 1 by z square plus a square the whole square into dz. Now apply Cauchy residues theorem. The Cauchy residues theorem is integral over c f of z dz equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues of f of z. Okay. So this is Cauchy residues theorem by using this theorem here integral over c f of z dz by comparing this 2 pi i into sum of the sum of the residues of f of z take this is equation number 1 where f of z is equal to this is f of z 1 by z square plus a square the whole square. Okay. So next I want to find out residues for f of z. For that first I want to find out the poles by equating denominator 0. Equate the denominator z square plus a square the whole square equal to 0 implies z square plus a square equal to 0. z square equal to minus a square. 
and Z is equal to plus or minus IA. Okay, there are two poles plus IA and minus IA. But you see the power is 2. Therefore, it is multipole. It is not a simple pole. Simple pole means power 1. This is power 2. This is multipole or otherwise we can say double pole. Double pole means power 2. Okay. So, otherwise we can say multipole of order 2. So, this is not a simple pole. It is multipole of order 2 because the term having power 2. Okay. So, that this is very important one. This is not a simple pole. This is multipole of order 2. Okay. And there are two multipoles. One is plus IA. Another one is minus IA. But from the diagram, we know positive imaginary value lies inside the circle C. Negative imaginary value lies outside the circle C. So, that here IA lies inside the circle C. Minus IA is lies outside the circle C. So that I am going to find out residue for plus IA only. Okay, this is a residue formula for a multipole. You see, this is a special problem because the pole is not a simple pole. It is a multipole of order 2. Therefore, we need another different formula for the residue. This is the formula for residue for the multipole of order M. Okay, so if Z equal to A is a multipole of order M, then the formula for residue is limit Z tends to A, D power M minus 1 by D Z power M minus 1. This is simply we can read M minus 1 derivative. If order is M, M minus 1 derivative of Z minus A the whole power M into F of Z. So this is the formula. But here... Z equal to IA only lies inside the circle. Z equal to minus, I, minus IA lies outside the circle C. Okay. And also IA is a multipole of order 2. Order 2. Order 2 means M value is 2. And the pole is IA. So here A value is IA. Here A value is IA. Okay. Substitute here. So residue of F of Z. Residue of f of z at z equal to i a limit z tends to i a z uh, sorry and now d power m minus 1 d power m minus 1 mean m, m equal to 2 2 minus 1 1 one time derivative so that d by d z of are you clear 2 equal, m equal to 2 2 minus 1 1 so only one derivative z minus a, a is ia, ia the whole power m, m is 2 into f of z. What is f of z? f of z is 1 by z square plus a square the whole square. Okay. And now after this limit z tends to ia d by d z of z minus ia the whole power 2 by this z square my plus a square can be splitted into two parts z plus ia into z minus ia but power 2 so that z plus ia the whole square into z minus ia the whole square cancel this okay so what is the remaining term 1 by z plus ia the whole square but i want to differentiate how will you differentiate Limit z tends to i a d by d z of 1 by z plus i a the whole square. I want to differentiate this with respect to z. So that you remember the one formula. Differential of 1 by x square is minus 2 by x cube. By using that formula, differential of 1 by x square. So differential of 1 by x square is minus 2 by x cube power 3 okay so differential part over differential of 1 by x square minus 2 by x cube by the formula okay and then i am going to substitute z equal to ia minus 2 by put ia here ia plus ia 2 ia 2 ia the whole cube okay so now further simplification minus 2 by 2 cube is 8 i cube what is i cube 
i cube is i square into i i square minus 1 so minus i so this is i cube is minus i so minus i i cube is minus i into a cube okay so minus minus cancel 2 also cancel so 1 by 4 i a cube so this is the residue for z equal to i a okay only one pole lies inside the circle c only one residue is enough okay now i am going to substitute this value in the first equation you will be getting answer okay so this is the first equation i am going to substitute our residues so that it is 2 pi i into sum of the residues as, but we found only one residue it is 1 by 1 by 4 i a cube so i i cancel 2 also cancel so pi by 2 a cube so this is the integral value of integral minus infinity to plus infinity dx by x square plus a square the whole square but our question is integral 0 to infinity so that this equation can be rewrite as 2 times of 0 to infinity dx by x square plus a square the whole square is equal to pi by 2a cube so this 2 can be taken here so integral 0 to infinity dx by x square plus a square the whole square is equal to pi by 4a cube so this is the answer of the given problem